Hey everyone, Chris here from I Heart Wellness, and today we're going to talk confidence. This is something that I think we've touched on a few times on the blog, but lately I feel like this is something that has been popping up in my world everywhere. Now, I know what comes back to me is a reflection of what I'm giving out. So what I find is super interesting is all of my coaching lately has been about creating this fabulous brand online and I mean to me I think my brand is pretty fabulous of course there's like always tweaks that can be done but for me I think people really want the confidence that they need to get their blog and brand going so I think we should just touch base on that a bit like confidence is something that's like so empowering when you feel it right it's something that's like this connection this spark within you that like really gets you charged up and going. So now you probably most of you that watch these blogs have a brand online or have or blogs, vlogs, um, have a blog or brand online already. So you might just want to like take your confidence to the next level to really step into getting that traffic and that following back and really having that leadership to go out there and rock the socks off of your blog. So to me, confidence is just owning yourself in whatever you do. And now that could be in like the way you present yourself and how you rock your blog and what you talk about in your recipes, in your everyday life. Confidence is to me is just how you show up and how you own it. Now, you know, you don't need to like mask all your imperfections. Like if you knew me on a more personal level, you would know that um, I used to be a hardcore worrier, um, a super freakish germaphobe. Um, well, I don't know. The list goes on and on and on. But since I, I still like, I still wash my hands a gazillion times. Do I worry as much as I used to? No, but I freaking own it. Everyone now, they just know that I wash my hands all the time before I eat things. So I, I just stepped into that confidence of owning it. I don't have to like dismiss my freakish ways. I just rock them. Does that make sense? So the first thing I tell people, you know, in starting a passionate, brand where people are going to follow you and they feel kind of like scared is just to go in there and give your heart and soul and value and just own yourself. So what can you do to own yourself? What does that mean? That means putting yourself out there. You'll feel more confident when you don't have to hide anything. So, you know, I've opened up and I have just you know, rocked my craziness, and most of you know my craziness. Um, I feel like confidence is going to come from the way you present yourself. So you might want to put on a little chapstick in the morning to help you feel good. Um, positive affirmations every day, like we've touched base before, is I go over morning, noon, and night um, positive affirmations that I feel have really, you know, allowed me to feel the self-love and the beauty that I have and that I can share with others. So some of that might be... Um, um, you know, I, I am beautiful. You know, I have amazing people skills. I have, I am a good leader. I am a good sister, daughter, girlfriend, all this. Like I always use the I am what, and you should too. Always as if you are rocking that right now with your affirmations, I am blank. So uh, I do that. That has helped me feel confident. Sometimes I'll write it out on my notepad that I have. I always have a notepad here uh, next to my desk and I might just stop and just start writing out, I am fabulous. You know, I have gorgeous eyes, whatever that makes me feel good that I can really play off of. Um, I also found getting the confidence to actually step into your fear to doing things online just Sometimes I feel like, oh, I don't really want to do that. What are people going to think? But then I get into this mode where I just start moving. Like I might be at my desk and if you know, motion creates emotion. So if you start just like sitting and rocking back and forth, put on your favorite song and you're going to start feeling like you're ready to go, you're going to have the confidence just to go there and put whatever, you know, quote or saying or value driven, um, 
information out on Facebook or Twitter or your blog. Like, so sometimes you, you might just need that extra nudge to actually get through that fear and then you're going to feel the confidence on the other side. Now confidence to me is such like a huge topic that we could talk about like you know if it's your appearance, if it's your business, if it's your brand, like there's confidence in all different areas but I think the ones I've touched in this video, at least I hope, will kind of help in all areas. You can let me know. But what I would really like to know is how you feel um, you, you know, have stepped into your confidence and gotten through fears. And maybe that might be what it is that we're talking about here is actually just stepping through fear and doing the things that you want to do and not, you know, worrying about the repercussions or what people are going to think of you on the other side. Um, I've had a few coaching clients lately that they're like, you know, I just don't want to do this in case, what if someone thinks I'm silly or stupid or whatever? And you know what? What if? What if they do? You wouldn't really want them as friends anyways, or you wouldn't want to spend your time with them anyways. So what if you put up, you know, your newest recipe on your blog and your old high school friend called you stupid? Who cares? Trust me, if you're to do that and you want some love, and just come to me and I'm going to read it and I'll do some love. And so make sure if you have a blog post or you have a Facebook comment that you did and you just want some love and you want someone to see it, tag me or come to me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash iheartwellness and let me know and I'm going to go there and I am going to give you some loving and you are going to feel amazing because I that's what I had. I had so much support and loving people that if I got a negative little comment, who cares? And that helped me get over it really quickly. Now, I don't know if this like blog or vlog, vlog, are you going on a vlog? Vlog has helped you, but I would love to know. So comment below and let me know if you want to see more of these like <laughs> spur of the moment uh, coaching vlogs that I do and um, I can do some more of them. Usually I just stick to like products I love and stuff, but I feel like so many people have just low self-confidence when it comes to doing what they want to do. And I think that I'm just here to tell you, just do it. And I want to show you different um, steps that you can take just to feel good and just to do it. And leave with this. If you were to do what you wanted to do, how would you feel? At the end of the day, are you going to feel, you know, low or upset that you didn't go through with something that was really telling you, that your gut was telling you to do? You know, I would. So I've learned to really tune into my gut and if something is telling me to go forward and do something, I'm just going to do it. And if someone doesn't like it or if I feel I may look like an idiot, I just don't care. I totally laugh it off now. Whereas before I would have been like, I don't want to create a blog. Oh, I don't want to talk about this. Eh, I don't care. I had fun. I have fun with whatever I do anyway, so it really doesn't matter. So, uh, anywho, yeah, I hope this was helpful, and comment below and let me know how you deal with confidence and some tricks or tips that you've done to up your confidence. I would love to hear, and uh, I hope to talk to you guys soon. Comment below and share this away with whoever you might find will find this beneficial, and yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye. <music>